Now, Roma Wines present... Suspense! Tonight, John Barbie and Son, starring Thomas Mitchell. Suspense is presented for your enjoyment by Roma Wines. That's R-O-M-A, Roma Wines. Those excellent California wines that can add so much pleasantness to the way you live, to your happiness and entertaining guests, to your enjoyment of everyday meals. Yes, right now a glass full would be very pleasant as Roma Wines bring you... Suspense! This is the man in black, here for the Roma Wine Company of Fresno, California, who tonight from Hollywood bring you as star, Mr. Thomas Mitchell, who will soon be seen in the 20th Century Fox production, Captain Eddie. He appears this evening in a drama of desperate escape. And so with John Barbie and son, and with the performance of Thomas Mitchell, we again hope to keep you in suspense. I'm afraid, Mary. For the first time since you've been gone, I'm afraid. I'm going to have to break my promise, Mary. I've tried. I've kept him out of sight, like you told me. I did just like you used to do when you were here, Mary. But it was that kitten that wandered into the place today. Carl didn't mean any harm. What he did... He didn't mean to do. It was just that he'd never held one in his arms before. And now they're coming for him tonight. They'll take him away. They'll take him to the home. Oh, if I could somehow just put them off for one more night. Ah, Mary, it would be easier if you were here. (laughs) Carl, Carl, I, I told you to stay upstairs till I called you. Oh, no, no, no. You're to stay in your room. I'm not going to let them take you away. Maybe I'll think of something. I've got to think of something. Shh. Carl. Carl, they've come. No, don't, no, be still. Be still. Go back to your room. Hide yourself. Uh, one moment. Uh, here, here. Take my hand. No, no, come. Shh. Come with me. Come with me. You're to stay in your room and not make a sound. You to be very quiet. Do you understand? <laughs> if, if you do as I say, I might be able to keep you here one more night. <sighs> Coming. Mr. Bobby? Yes? I'm Mr. Wilk from the home. I've come for your son. I know, uh, uh, but the boy is ill. We'll take care of him. Oh, uh, Far better than you can here alone with him. But I'm afraid it's something contagious. He's broke out in a a rash. Are you sure? Yes, yes, he's got some sort of red spots all over him. Well, I I wouldn't want to run the risk of infection. I mean for the others at the home, of course. Of course, that's what I mean, Mr. Wilk. Perhaps I'd better have a look at him. Oh, please, please, Mr. Wilk, the boy's asleep. We'll have to wake him. Uh, You don't understand, Mr. Wilk. He's miserable since he knows he has to go. Don't wake him. You have my sympathy, Mr. Barbie, but I have my orders. Well, uh, uh, if you could bring a doctor first thing in the morning, then you'd be sure of no one catching anything from him. Well, I I suppose that would be better. Yes. What about the neighbors? Oh, Oh, they won't know. They've never even seen him before today. If it hadn't been for that kitten... I can't go into that with you now, Mr. Barbie. No. The animal's dead. Yes. However, under the circumstances, it might be better if I brought the doctor back with me in the morning. (laughs) Thank you, Mr. Wilk. But the boy's not to leave the house. Do you understand? Yes, yes. We'll be here at nine sharp in the morning. Good night. Good night. Carl. Carl. No, 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 no. It's, it's all right. It's all right. Now, you you can stay one more night. Well, Carl, 
I promised your mother that I'd never let them take you away. That I'd do anything before I let them do that. What are we going to do? I know what happens to them at the home. I've seen them after they've been there a while. They'd be better off... Carl, how would you like to go away? <laughs> yes, yes, how would you like to go someplace where they'd never reach you? <laughs> yes, that would be better, Carl. That would be much better. <laughs> Here comes a truck, Carl. Now listen carefully. You're to hide in the bushes by the side of the road here. I'm going to flag him. If he stops to pick me up, you're to climb in the back of the truck without him seeing you. You're not to make a sound. You're not to try to say anything and stay there until I call you to get out. Do you understand, Carl? Yes. Now get in the bushes. Hello. Uh, could you give me a ride to San Diego? Sure, hop in. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, oh just a moment. Yeah, something wrong? Uh, yes, my glasses. I seem to have lost my glasses. Oh, did you drop them? Yes, I, I'll find them. I had them a minute ago. Okay. Uh, can you see out there? Uh, I'll take a look around back here. You want a flashlight? Uh, oh, never mind. Uh, get in the back of the truck, Carl. Do you understand? Yes, uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, uh, I I found them. Oh, good. Yes, right by the back of the truck here. Well, thanks for waiting. Lucky break. Yeah, tell you the truth, I I don't usually stop for people, but it's so late, and you're a little well. Uh, a little older than most you see on the highways. Oh, I, I didn't mean that. But uh, what's the matter? You have uh, car trouble? Uh, no, I. You know what? Transportation is in these days. I couldn't get a bus or a train. Yeah, yeah, I know. Lots of soldiers and defense workers in these parts have to consider them, you know. Oh, yes, of course, I know. Uh, 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 tell me, do you uh, do you make this trip often? Oh, yeah, twice a week. Oh, I, I imagine you get pretty tired of it, don't you? Oh, no, I, I like being out in the open. Uh, yes. Uh, hey, uh, you hear that? Yes. I suppose he's getting restless. Oh, then you saw... What was that? Oh, that's my cat. What do you mean? Oh, I picked up a stray cat back in Pedro. Oh. Cute little kitten. I got a box fixed up for him in the back of the truck. You know, it gets pretty cold up here. A kitten? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the matter? Oh, hey, uh, my, my billfold. I seem to have lost it. You have? Gee, when did that happen? I don't know. I guess, I guess back where I dropped my glasses. I had it then. Oh, well, that's too bad, but... Uh... I can't go back, you know. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't expect you to. If you'll just let me out here, I'll catch another ride back. Well, oh, okay. Uh, if I was on my own time. Oh, you know. no, no, no. Thank you very much. It'll be all right. Okay. Good luck. I, I hope you find it. Uh, well, well, uh, I, uh, uh, just a moment. Yeah? Uh, the, the back end of your truck's open. Oh, it is? Oh, well, I'll... Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Don't get out. I'll close it for you. Oh. Get out. Get out, Carl. Run back from the road. Down the road, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, it's all right now. You can drive on. Oh, how's the kitten? Oh, huh? oh, he's all right. He's fine. You huh? can drive on now. Oh, well, thanks. So long. Hello. Carl. Carl. Oh, hold on. You don't have to hide anymore, sonny. He's gone now. Oh, you were a good boy, Carl. You did just like I asked you to. And you didn't you didn't touch the kitten, did you? Come on now. We'll get other rides. We'll manage. Tonight for Suspense, Roma Wines are bringing you as star Mr. Thomas Mitchell, whom you have heard in the first act of Mel Dinelli's radio play, John Barbie and Son. Tonight's tale of suspense. This is Truman Bradley for Roma Wines. Have you ever noticed the knack some women have for making their guests feel welcome, relaxed? Well, one such woman is the renowned hostess, Elsa Maxwell, 
And here's what she suggests you do the next time friends come to dinner. Flatter your guests and make that dinner more enjoyable by serving good Roma California wine. You'll find Roma's golden sauterne is delicious with all main dishes and particularly a delightful flavor mate with fish or fowl. Two point free foods now more popular than ever. Just be sure you serve that good Roma sauterne well chilled. You'll enjoy the delightful bouquet, the superbly delicate flavor, and golden glory of this wine grower's masterpiece in any glassware. Distinctive Roma wines are grown in California's choicest vineyards. Beginning with choice wine grapes picked and gently pressed at the top of their flavor richness, then watched over and developed with all the ancient winemaker's skill of Roma's famed wineries. The quality of Roma wines never varies. Always the same tempting flavor. Yet all this goodness is yours for only pennies a glass. No wonder more Americans enjoy Roma than any other wines. R-O-M-A, Roma Wines. And now it is with pleasure that we bring back to our soundstage Mr. Thomas Mitchell, who resumes his role as father and fugitive in John Barbie and Son, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. It was a long walk, eh, Carl? But we'll get us a room now and get some rest. I'm going in alone. It's not good for us to be seen together. You wait here on this bench, and you're not to talk to anyone. Not to anyone. Do you understand? I won't be long. Good evening, sir. I'd like to have a room, please. Oh, you're very lucky, sir. I've just had a single vacated. Oh, you haven't a double? No, oh, I'm sorry, I haven't. I, I thought you were alone. Oh, uh, well, I am, but uh, I prefer a double bed. I'm afraid you're going to have trouble finding any kind of a room in San Diego, sir. We're lucky to have this one. Uh, yes, I'll take it. It'll be all right. All right, sign here, please. Yes. It's really not a small bed. It's three-quarter size. Here's your key, sir. Oh, uh, that's fine. Thank you. Oh, uh, could you tell me... Is it on the ground floor? Huh? Why, no, it isn't. Oh. Had you wanted it on the ground floor? Uh, yes. Uh, you see, I'm, uh, I, I, I'm a little nervous about fires. Oh. Oh, well, there's a fire escape just down the hall from you. Oh. Oh, there is? Uh, that'll be all right, then. I've got to get... I mean, I'm, I, I'm going out for a while. I, I'll be back later. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh... Hmm. Did you hear that, Miss White? Yeah. Can't sleep in a single bed. Afraid of fires. <laughs> I'll tell you, you meet all kinds, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you certainly do. I'm right behind you, Carl. Yes, son. Nothing to be afraid of. You've never been on a fire escape before, have you? <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Only a little ways now. Here, here, take my arm. Ah, here we are. Now you stay back until I look in the window first. See if anyone's in the hallway. Huh? Ah, it's all right. I'm sure it's awake. Yes, it's all right. Come on. I'll help you through. Shh. Someone's coming. Stay out there, Carl. No, no, no. Stay out there on the fire escape. Don't make a sound. Hey. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, Mr. Wilson. Oh, good evening. Aren't you at the wrong end of the hallway, sir? Yes, I... Can't you find your room? Uh, yes, but I, w I was just looking around. Oh, the fire escape. Yes, I... I, I see. You wanted to try it out, huh? Uh, well, uh, I'm a little nervous. I understand, sir. Would you like me to show you how to get out onto it? Oh, no, 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 thank you. I've been out there already. Oh, you have? Uh -huh. Well... You feel better about it, then? Yes, yes, thank you. Anything I can do for you, sir? Uh, uh, no, no, I, I, I'll be getting to my room now. Well, I guess we'd better close this window. It looks like a rain's uh, coming. Uh, no, no, I, 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 I'll, I'll close it. Okay, sir. Good night, Mr. Wilson. I hope you sleep well, sir. Uh, good night. It's all right. 
Come on, Carl. Careful now. Follow me, quickly. Ah, there now. Hungry, Carl? Well, I'll get us something to eat. Then we'll have a good night's rest. Miss White. Yeah? I just found the old boy up in the hallway. He was trying out the fire escape. Can you beat it? When? <laughs> just now. Well, but how did he get up to his room? He didn't come back through the lobby. What? He didn't? No. I know I would have seen him. He must have used the fire escape then. Say, there's something funny going on around here. Hey, look, it's his room. Hmm? Office? Uh, no, yeah, well, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Wilson, but we don't have meals sent up anymore. Uh, there's a cocktail lounge and a restaurant on the roof. Oh, it's really quite nice. And there's a terrace where you can step out and get a wonderful view of the entire city. Uh, yes, sir, you're welcome. Meals sent up. I guess he don't know there's a war on. That fire escape business puzzles me, and now he wants his meal sent up. Say, do you suppose he's got somebody up there with him? I don't know, but I'd certainly like to take a look at his room. And I think I will if he goes out. That's a good idea. Now, I won't be long, Carl. But you're not to make a sound while I'm gone. And if someone comes to the door, don't you answer it. And if someone starts to unlock it, you hide. Here, here. Hide here in this closet. You understand? Remember now, no noise. Do everything I tell you and everything will be all right. Yes, yes. I'll get you something to eat and I'll be right back. Going out again, Mr. Wilson? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, to get a little something to eat. Uh, have a nice dinner. <laughs> Thank you. Miss White. Yeah? Have Frank take the board. Let you and I go upstairs. We'll have a look around while he's gone. Okay, okay. Uh, Frank. Yes, ma'am? You saw the old man that just went out the door? Yes, ma'am. Well, we're going up to his room. If he comes back before we return, ring twice to warn us. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're knocking. I have a feeling someone's in there. Well, if there is, they're not coming to the door. Not if he sneaked them into the hotel. Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. I guess I'd better unlock it. Hmm. Well, nothing unusual here. Look at this bundle of things, though. What do you mean? Oh, here's a cap. Why, oh, that looks like a boy's. Oh, still, it might be his. He wasn't wearing a cap when he came in. No, he wasn't. Uh, should I look in the closet? No, I don't think we need bother. If he did have someone in here, they're not here now. Well, I just think I'll take a look, as long as we're here. <gasps> oh. 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 Uh, that's Frank. Well, he couldn't have had his dinner that fast. Maybe Frank's made a mistake. I'll see. Uh, Frank? Yeah. All right, we'll be out. He hmm? says he's carrying a package. Must have brought something back to eat here in the room. Come on, Miss White. We'd better get out of here. Hey, we'd better go down the stairs. I think he'll be coming up in the elevator. Come on. <sighs> Miss White. What's the matter? You've walked off with the cap. <gasps> Great Scott, I have. Uh, uh, I didn't realize... Uh, well, uh, what do we do? Uh, shall I go back? No, 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 no. I don't think you'd better. No. He'll be up here any minute. Yeah. Well, maybe he won't miss it. Uh, and we can put it back if, if he goes out again. Yes, yes. Come yeah, on. Come on. <laughs> He has her top floor. Thank you. Ah, here we are. Milk and sa uh, uh, Carl. Ca Carl, where are you? What are you doing in the closet? Ca was somebody here, Carl? Someone's been here. Where's your cap that was on the bed there? Who's here? <laughs> Evening. I'd like to see the manager. He's not in. I'm in charge. Could I help you? I'm Detective Bourne. Oh. oh. 
We're checking hotels in the vicinity for a certain John Barbie. Have you anyone registered by that name? No, no, I don't believe I have. But uh, what kind of a looking man is he? An older man, about his 60s. Hey, wait, about... wait, wait, wait. I, I have someone here who answers that description. He's been acting peculiar, too. But he's registered under the name of Wilson. Uh, here it is. John Wilson. He might be the one you're looking for, and I have a hunch he is. Is he in his room now? Yes, yes. He went up just a short time ago. I'd like to go up. Here's my badge. Oh, What's the room number? Uh, 408. Is it, uh, is it something serious? Yeah. Murder. No, I don't think he's the type to make trouble, but I think it'll be easier if he opens the door himself. Well, I I'll say that it's something about his moving to a double room. Yeah. Mr. Wilson? Oh, Mr. Wilson, I have another room I think you'd be interested in seeing. Well, I don't think anyone's there. Have you a pass key? Oh, yes, yes. Open the door. But, but... That's I... all right. I have a gun. I'll stand back out of sight. There's no one here. Look back at the door. No. Here. Here. Maybe the closet here. No. No, there's nobody here. Say, say, he must have had somebody with him after all. What do you mean? Well, he registered alone, and I suspected there was someone with him, but look, look, look on the dresser there. Two bottles of milk and two sandwiches. They haven't been touched, either. He must have left here in a hurry. Is there a fire escape on this floor? Oh, yes, there is. And I found him looking it over right after he moved in. Well, come on, let's have a look at it. Yes. Uh, right this way, please. Down the hall here. The window's open. He must have gone out that way. Uh -huh. Have a look outside. No one down below. You must have just missed him. Look, Mr. Bowen. What is it? There's somebody up above. Somebody climbing in the window at the top of the fire escape. That's him. Come on. Wait, wait. He'll be quicker going up to the elevator. He can't get away. There's a cocktail lounge on the top floor. We'll catch him there. There's no place else for him to go. <laughs> Careful now. Careful. Now go through the window, Carl. Ha! Ah, that's the boy, Carl. They're following us. I know that. They'll always follow us. You've got to do everything I tell you now. You've got to understand. Come on. Um, uh, pardon me, sir. Yes? Is there a terrace room on the floor? Oh, yes, there is. You'll get a wonderful view of the city. It's, uh, it's straight ahead through the cocktail lounge. Oh, thank you. Skyline. That's Coronado over there. Nice, isn't it, Carl? Carl, if they catch up with us, it means you'll have to go back to the home. You understand that, don't you? We promised your mother we would never let that happen, and we're not going to. Oh, look at that man over there. He's climbing up over the iron fence. Stay there. You better get back. Oh, somebody stop him. It isn't going to hurt much, Carl. It'll be quick. Mr. Barbie. Mr. Barbie, don't. Uh, stay where you are. This is my affair. Now, Mr. Barbie, that isn't going to do anybody any good. Now, just listen to me a moment. If you come a step closer... I won't, I won't, but listen to me. What do you want? Now, Mr. Barbie, don't jump. Come back with me. They'll go easy on you. You'll not take him back to that home. I know what happens to them there. Now, Mr. Barbie, you're ill. You don't know what you're doing. You're... Now, I, I, I listen... tell you... Not to come any closer. All right, all right, I won't. But listen now. I'll not you... listen to anything. I know what's best for my boy. I promised his mother, didn't I, son? What? Who are you talking to there, Mr. Barbie? Don't pay any attention to them, Carl. Why, he... He thinks the boy's there with him. Are you ready, Carl? You don't want to go back to that home, do you? Mr. Barbie. Now, there's nobody there with you. What? What did you say? I say there's nobody there with you. Nope, but... Uh, what kind of a trick is this? Well, you're just imagining things. You're ill. Now, they'll go easy on you, I promise you that. There's nobody here with me? No. Your son's dead. And what you're going to do now won't help anything. Well, this is my son here by my side. Oh, no, no, Mr. Barbie, no one's by your side. Ah, this is a trick! 
Oh, I see it now. You are trying to confuse me, to keep me busy talking so this man could sneak up behind me. Is that it? Mr. Barbie, now we're just trying to save your life. Now come back, come back away from that ledge and let us talk. No, no, I've had enough of your tricks. Are you ready, Carl? Oh! oh, no, 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 don't let him. It won't hurt much, Carl. Oh, no. Take my hand, son. Take my hand. Oh, 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 oh no, my dear. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. Oh. May I, may I ask what he was wanted for? Murder. Murder? Yeah. He killed his son last night. The authorities are going to take the boy away to a home. And I guess his mind just snapped. It's probably better this way. Because he thought the boy was with him. Right to the end. And so closes John Barbie and Son, starring Thomas Mitchell. Tonight's study in Suspense. Suspense is produced, edited, and directed by William Spear. Before Mr. Mitchell returns to our microphone, this is Truman Bradley for Roma Wines. Genuine cordiality, unaffected simplicity. These are qualities that have made Miss Elsa Maxwell's hospitality famous the world over. In her own words... Friendliness and hospitality begin at home. And there's no better or simpler way than with a glass of distinctive Roma wine. I suggest Roma Toque, a most delightful wine, to be enjoyed any time, any place. Serve with coffee or dessert as a delightful finishing touch to your meals. Or set out Roma California Toque with cheese and crackers when friends drop in. Roma Toque is a velvety, flame-colored wine, moderately sweet, light, with a slightly nutty flavor. Be sure it's Roma Toque you serve. That's a mighty worthwhile idea, Miss Maxwell's. Try Roma Toque and the other Roma wines, too. You can depend on Roma wines to be always delicious, always pleasing to the palate, of unvarying fine quality. And the next time you use vermouth, sweet or dry, choose Roma Vermouth. Zestful, herb-flavored Roma vermouth is blended, mellowed, and developed with all the traditional winemaking skill of Roma wineries, yet surprisingly low-priced. Try Roma vermouth soon, will you? This is Thomas Mitchell. It's been a great pleasure to appear here tonight on Suspense, a program for which all actors have a unique regard. Next Thursday, my old friend... Edward G. Robinson will be your star. Mr. Spears has been telling me a little about the story. Sounds like surely the most remarkable predicament a man ever got himself into over his wife. I'm sure you won't want to miss it. I know I won't. Night. Remember, next Thursday, same time, you will hear Mr. Edward G. Robinson as star of Suspense. Presented by Roma Wayne. R-O-M-A, made in California for enjoyment throughout the world. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.